Hey, Trick Club, how's it going? It is I, Mag Sinker, with CTG Studios on our Convertible Turtle Gaming channel. And we're playing some more Ni no Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, which, um, really great game. Really great game. We're just going to continue on with our playthrough. We last left off, um, pretty much defeating the last boss that they threw in front of us. And it was actually a pretty interesting boss fight. Um, let's see here, let's pull our map up, and so we already explored all of this after defeating the boss. That's where we picked up our new little dude that was chilling out with us. I, uh, I remember also after we'd done that we sort of came through and restored this beautiful life spring. So you know, once again, here's some of the here's some of the things that I have an issue with with this game is, and I realize this is a restored, remastered DS game. But some of these places where it looks like I should be able to walk, I can't walk. So it's kind of upsetting a little bit. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, it's because I was adjusting my headset. My uh, Spotify anime playlist was up there. All right, let's, so let's, let's see what we got coming up here. Because we got a little plot point. Start off with some cutscene stuff or some new zone. Of course, a new zone means that we're going to be fighting new stuff. So, kind of interested and looking forward to that. Let's see what they got for us. The Golden Grove. We just came through all of that. New things to fight. Oh, new stuff to acquire. New. Oh. Proper nasty monsters around here. Just hurry and get the Owl Wand in it. Alright. I, uh. Okay. Like. I, I get what you're saying, Mr. Drippy. I, I hear what you're saying. But. Shinies. A glow cap. All right. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. These are one of these boars. I think we take a boar, right? I'm bacon nivorous. I think we can. Oh. Oh, what is up with uh, the frame drop? Oh my gosh. All right. So clever cub. We definitely are a little bit concerned about. Um. Don't know what one of those are, but the sword boar we should be okay against. Let's just cut loose and see what happens to start with. 25 damage to the sword boar. Oh, ooh. So it needs to be hit a couple more times. Alright. Alright, so this cub is definitely hurting. Oh, can we make it to the health? There's the health. Ooh, all right. Boy, these things really have a, a chunk of hit points, but we are able to take it out and get some mana. Not a bad fight, but definitely not a fight that I want to keep doing. At least not right now. Right now is not the best time to be doing that, I don't think. So we definitely want to uh, exercise some more intelligence. Now I do know previously we walked through these like grassed areas and we found ourselves in place. So I was just sort of exploring that a little bit. Looks like we're going to have to encounter this guy no matter what. So I'm hoping we can flank it in attack like this. Ah, nope. Alright, so we don't get any advantages. Watch this. So Bonehead, it's a moon type. 
which... Ooh, okay. So... Like... I think we still go with Bonehead, or Mighty here. Ah, ah. Oh, come on. Alright, we have to come out, and we have the spells, and we have to heal. I hope I don't get smacked. Alright. Spell. Fireball? Fire is usually good against undead. Alright, spells. Use this opportunity to get a healing touch off. Smash hit. Oh! Why aren't you just special? Oh, this thing hurts a lot, a lot. Um, sabotage. I don't know what sabotage does. Oh, interesting. Fire time. Let's go and set it on fire. Really could have used any kind of orbs. Ah, oh. so Mr. Drippy. Probably knew a little bit of what he was talking about. So we for sure and certain want to avoid as many fights as possible with this being... I, I guess I can actually heal from here, right? to engage with this anyway, so we might as well just come across it and see if we can get the upper hand. Oh, it's another bonehead. I... okay. Alright. Um... So we, we know it's gotta be mighty. Uh, so we go E, down, cut loose. See what we can get for here. Alright, so Bonehead just took 11, and that Crowhawk only took a little bit too. Uh, this is not good. Alright, um, so if we attack the Crowhawk, and, alright. There's a health orb and a mana orb. A health orb. Alright, mana orb. Run away, run away. Um,. Alright, Lamal, Lamal, dude, 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 Lamal, run faster, run faster, run all the fasters. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Alright, Mighty, back out. No, 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 cancel. Um, no, 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 sorry. Tab, tab, space cancel. Attack. I need to... Grab, spell, healing touch. Uh, bring Mighty back out. Cut loose. Did it even take any of them out? It didn't. Oh, oh, come on. All right. Attack. Crowhawk. All right, good. Bonehead. Mana orb. Oh man, these guys are pretty brutal. I have to admit, you know, this is we expect this, right? This is 100% one of those RPGs where it's about the grindy stuff and the building up the character stuff. Maybe though, we can avoid some of the encounter through here.
Or not. Oh, wow. That is so all the fars away. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no 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 We don't want anything to do with you. Oh, we don't want anything to do with you either. Alright, probably we'll have to fight it. Hopefully it doesn't get us ambushed. Sunshine and the floor at Okay. I don't trust the sunshine. I definitely don't trust the floor at. I think what I need to do is start off with me and frostbite the sunshine. Alright, that was good. Now I just need to heal afterwards. And then spells. Frostbite. That should take that all out. Good. Spells. Fireball on the floret. Okay, I was expecting the grass type animal to be really weak. Alright, so. Well, now. Okay. Drowsy drops. Ouch. Alright, uh, mana. Need mana. Need mana. Need all the mana. Alright, uh, spells. Healing touch. Alright, Q. Mighty. Attack. Alright. Ooh, we won, but at what cost? What cost, Roll Club? Boom, boom, boom. We just have to like chase the edge. And then come down and up. Oh my gosh. Like this looks like it might be the best path now. I don't know what this is. This looks like one of those things that were really fast and we didn't like. <clears throat> Alright, so clever cats are horrible, but, oh, I'm so low on mana, too. Oh, my gosh. Alright, so I gotta do this first. Spells, Frostbite, Sunshine. Alright, and then after hitting that thing, we gotta go Provisions. <sighs> Iced Coffee. Alright, um... I attack? It's not ranged. It's not ranged. It's not ranged. It's not ranged. This is really bad. All right. Okay. Um, mighty, please, for the, for the love of everything, cut loose and do damage to all of them. Um, okay, mighty. We have to. We have to go back and talk about some stuff. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I can go out and heal though, right? I heal. Yep. That's all I can do. Alright, a Q. We need to be able to evade. That's gonna be our best bet. Just run around, get mana. I'll have evade. Alright. Gonna be yes for a little bit. Oh my gosh. Uh, spells. Healing touch, because it's all we can really do. Cut across for this mana, maybe. Alright, good. Q. Back to Sid. Come on, Sid. Come on, Sid. You are fast. 
you're fasting. You just need a little bit of mana. Just a little bit of mana, Sid. Alright, alright. We're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. Oh, oh. We, we, we can't just run forever, apparently. Spells. Frostbite. Hit you with it. Please do a lot of damage. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna go to Mighty, because Mighty at least has pretty good melee. Alright. Hey, Shadow! Thanks for coming and lurk tonight, man. going to spawn that right there. Okay. Alright. You know no trolley, I guess. I don't know what these giant things are that are just tromping back and forth. And I just gotta hope that it's not really bad. Hey, there's the town. Oh. Oh. Cheese and crackers, Turtle Club. We made it to the town. Well, we're probably making it to the town. Alma Moon. All right. Oh, that was that was intense. That was that was pretty. I don't know. It's been a while since I've gone through like dangerous territory in a JRPG like this. Usually, if you're going there and you're under level, you're just, you know. Oh, oh. Califa. Oh. I gotta tell Dig right about this. Here we are, Moon. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, innit? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. <clears throat> Too flippin' right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. <sniffs> babana sounds like banana. Well, these look like humans, not cows.
very disappointing that there's still no cow people just hanging out in the street. Or just people in general. What's this person? Is this the sage who sells Excuse bananas me? now? Are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? Mm. But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. That's very selfish of him. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Jeepers. The poor thing's broken-hearted, looks like. <sighs> Lots of broken-hearted. stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Live out our days in peace. Mr. Uh. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. Hmm. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! We're gonna have to restore her heart. You're we still have to find cow people too. To... The fact that there has been promise of cows in this town well, he wasn't wrong. Cow person... It looks like Shadar stolen a part of the poor dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Oh. Closed? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world! If uh -oh. we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by here. So we head over you mm -hmm. away and find mm -hmm. her soulmate. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Right, though. Back to you world it is. All right, so do I need to cast portal or are they going to let me explore? They're going to let me explore, so I'm going to take this time to explore a little bit more. Hello, person. Uh oh. We have to go all the way back to Golden Grove for this. Steal everything. <laughs> oh, Digrat. I would. I would. This is not that kind of game. I, I, I don't believe we're allowed to be a, a sneak thief in this. Lover's Lunch Basket. We can steal heart pieces, though. But beyond that, we really can't do a whole lot. Oh. We can, like, pilfer things out of, like, jars like this, though. A sour sundae, that... Okay, well, here's a couple of cows and bulls. Still very disappointed. Like, the, the, the awning entrance for this entire town has a giant cowbell on it. You can't be advertising like that and then just be... Like, no cows. Look at that. That was just a glare on the bush. Alright. Like, I have to show Digger this ginormous cowbell. Like, look at that. As soon as we came in, they showed us this giant cowbell. Like, we were going to be Christopher walking on Saturday Night Live. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, cow. Well, time for us to go back to the real world, quote, unquote, right? Let's see what we can find here. Maybe they sell iced coffee for cheaper than 100 gold each. Did 
didn't realize that this place was Starbucks everywhere you go it's a hundred gold for a coffee no matter where we are in the in the other world what girls do you know girls don't talk to girls I'm gonna have to fiddle <laughs> Legwork, stroll around the town. I, I gotta admit, one thing that still kind of is irksome about this game is like in the world we were just in, we had camera control. And here we don't have that. So we do know that the game's like, here you go is where you should go. So at least there's that. I guess we ought to backtrack and find that. I wonder if we can rest in our house and restore all of our health and mana. That'd be good. Hey guys, I know we're trying to save the world from like untold destruction and devastation, but let me go sleep first. Correct turn is the, the better way to say that, I guess. Since right and left are, you know, directions and so. Alright, here's my house. Let me go inside and see if I can use the bed to sleep. I guess technically in this game we can use Gateway more often, maybe, to have access to that. Let me use my bed, please. Nope. We cannot use the bed to restore mana and health. That's unfortunate. Alright. Dots here. Hey, peoples. What's going on in this place? Uh huh. That's the window up there. That's her. Gracie's daughter. Ha. <laughs> Razor sharp eyes of a fairy. I I'm surprised they can see completely straight with the with the lantern dangling off their nose, but hey, to each throne, I guess. Oh, there's a look of pooch. Nobody home. Wait, what? This place is haunted? Just how lucky. All right. Hold on. Oh. 
Okay, well, um... Guess we're gonna commit a felony here. Sounds like your kind of game. <laughs> oh. Well, we gotta find some other way into the house. Alright. Um, look for the backyard entrance, maybe? No. The garage and ask way in? That's probably better. I really am kind of disappointed that I spent like the last two points of mana I had on that. Oh, wait. Wait a second. The spooky ghost girl that we can never get anyone to acknowledge exists but us. You have to go in there. Okay. Alright. The amount of like plot whiplash that you get in this game is disturbing. Who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. Ooh. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh. Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky. Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh I... I bet mm. you think I'm weird, don't you? No. I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh. Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone. Something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. Well, now. What is it? Mr. Drippy can... Oh. Um. Uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see Tell you again. Tell if they're sick or not. Okay, huh. Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... Well, something's going on with Dad for certain. Alright, not broken hearted. Alright. Family's important. It's everything. Yeah, just just go ask old Vin Diesel. All right, onward to Rusty's shop. That's not good. Alright. I don't have the mana for any of that. Um, time to rummage around in the old pack. Alright, eat some bread. 
eat some more bread. So all I can do is eat bread, because I have no way to do mana, but, but we can like give some of these guys, let's go in the cage. All right. You. Increase the, yeah, give you the, the sour treat. Alright. And let's go to Lamal. Definitely need some accuracy for Lamal. Two pieces of pie for Lamal. That won't quite give a another point. Oh, it did. Alright. Okay. Well, this is the best we can do. Um, I can also right hit the spacebar from this screen and save. Probably the best thing to save right now. Saving early and saving often is the way to go. All right. Ooh, there's some really nasty darkness on this guy. Look at this. Lady, you got any iced coffee in that pack? You too. Oh no no no! That was that was T W O. That wasn't T W O. Coffee's good for mana. We have zero mana right now, Digrat. We, we really need some... We, we're about to get into a combat scene without any mana. This is not good. Oh. Oh. Is this gonna be a... Oh, this is gonna be a catastrophic boss fight type... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. The Void of Kindness? Okay... Right. It has no elemental type, so that's horrible. Um, I guess we start off with Mighty, and we attack and see what happens. Oh, oh, what, what, are, what are these? What are these? Oh, those do- No, oh, this is not good. This is beyond good. Oh, this is, this is rough. Okay. Alright. Um, whoa. Whoa. Did I get to the evade in time? I hit evade and it still walled me? No, I didn't. Okay. Alright. Um, Mr. Drippy, we really need you, buddy. Mr. Drippy, come on, make with the make with the mana orb. All right, here we go. All right, uh, if I pull out to me, I can use spells. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, oh, this is gonna really hurt. Yep. Blinded on top of everything else. Spells, healing touch. Run away. Q. 
back to Sid. We're still blind, but that's fine. No, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to get to here. Spells. Alright. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Alright. Alright. fast enough. Take less than 20 this time? Oh, we took far less than 20. Alright. Okay, good. Oh, is this a health, health orb? Nice. Oh. Oh. Poor Sid. Does water do anything to this thing? Oh, water does good to this thing? Alright, um... Back to healing. Actually, provisions. Sandwich time. Can I get to the... Oh. Mm. Oh, blinded. Sandwich hurt. Alright. Spells. Frostbite. to it? Uh, fire just made it giggle. But double fireball isn't bad. Really could use some mana. Let's go back to Sid. Evade. Oh, looks like we evade. We're still in the evade window. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, here we go. Boom! New Dawn! I don't know what it does. Uh, but it says it heals and cures and does a little bit of stuff, so let's do that. It would be amazing if it actually done a lot of damage to you, so unfortunately it doesn't. Alright. Um... Fireball once. Defend. Take a little bit of damage, but not a lot. Alright, let's cancel. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another burning heart. Zero mana to see this thing on fire with the heat of the sun. It'll probably shrug half of it off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, alright, alright, alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, now we're 
poison on top of everything else. Oh, and I got provisions, bread, and no, 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 no. space cancel, space cancel. Uh, provisions, poison be gone. Spells, any touch. Grab mana. Back to. Ha! Ah, I, I just I had, I had to sit right through um, it's, that's poison low. Oh, not good. Not good. Alright. Fade. Oh, we missed it that time. This is not good. We're gonna take the whole heart heart. Bam, blinded. Alright. Q, back over. Me, spells, and touch. No. Spells. Crossbite? White bread. Crossbite helped him out here. We need to send me a bit of something. Two back over. Sit. Come on out. Update now. Alright, we got the window that time. The timing on these are horrible sometimes. Alright. Oh, we got some orbs. Green orb. Blue orb. Shoot the sword gun. Teams. We can shoot him with the sword random boys in the top. He's insane. Alright. Alright, Sid. Spells. Frostbite. This should put him away, I hope. Nope. <laughs> that was that was very wishful thinking. Defend. First hour of the two hour stream game today, guys. That. I knew we were getting some sort of boss fight, most likely, because, you know, the NPC said, prepare yourself. Hey, we leveled up, which means we topped off our health and our mana. That's great. Level 13, mighty level 13, Sid level 11. We're leveling up the whole entire Pokey Squad here. Great. Shot over in our world by tech. Uh huh. That's nah, not good. Kindness. Yeah, the shopkeeper. Or. In this case, Betty, possibly even, right? Let's see. Take heart. Nothing happens. What? We have to talk to her first. Right. Take heart. Now we're going to get a new kind of heart. This is Digrat's favorite part. This is the organ harvesting, I think. It's not really organ harvesting, but but it, it kind of works like it, I guess. Give heart. 
nothing happens. All right, because I have to go and uh, this the controls are give heart. Felonies and organ harvesting for the win. <laughs> oh, this is a nice, light-hearted, animated game with felonies and organ harvesting. You're just not allowed to like stealth around and steal stuff. <laughs> oh. Marital bliss. Excuse me. Can I be friends with your daughter? really great if I could like find anything to loot <laughs> but alas I cannot I have to go next door and look at the oh wait what's going on over here oh yeah we, we built the car I got in the accident it put my mom in a coma what more do you want to know at least the uh, once managed to make a packing game. Yes, yes. This is very true. <laughs> oh. oh, this is very true. If any of you are curious what Digger is mentioning or referring to on our Convertible Turtle Unshelled channel, she did a review Oliver, of the game Unpacking. Well, and she actually played it all the way through. If my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart, I am so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here, maybe it was me. Father. You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, Look at Mr. Drippy in the background there, copping up on stuff. Us together. The, <laughs> we couldn't be a family anymore. Oh. oh right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. <laughs> Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I... It's going to be okay. Father. Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Are those tears, Bunting? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. <laughs> Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? He's me when people get all emotional. Oh, a hat. Yes. <laughs> oh. It's still not the most touching and emotional thing that we've seen tonight. My goodness. Oh. trying to figure out like how do they explain to themselves the floating hat at the moment too because no one can see drippy 
All they see is like a stuffed toy. It's like a whole Calvin Knobs thing. Oh, oh, we gonna. Oh. Alright, Digret. Here comes some more organ harvesting. Enthusiasm, we've had kindness. And just to mess with your head now, lady, I'm gonna just disappear right in front of you. In case you weren't really sure that magic worked. Now we need to go back to the Babana. That that sounds like a uh, really weird way to say banana. Babana. <laughs> oh, all right. Look in here. Here she is. Oh, Bob's your uncle. Oh. Boom. Have some of this green stuff in this jar I keep on my neck. What is this? It's me doing what you're too afraid to do. Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver. It is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. Uh, could You're you welcome, give us like, part of your spell book and I maybe you want? I will join you in the fight against Shudar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. Mr. Drippy eating the, the clarion? clarion in the background. Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations. Interesting. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Hmm. Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. It's up to us. The clarion will ring out again and we will be the ones to play it. Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. Would have been good to have you around when I was fighting that nightmare, but at least you're here now. Oh! Oh! His name is Gogo the Drongo. Oh, we now have a second person in the party. Okay. Hey, spell books. Puppet string. That doesn't sound like a good spell. Secret ingredient spell. Interesting. 
Magic Lamp spell, not good. Pulse spell? Uh, don't know if I need to know what the pulse spell is good for. Uh, Go go the drongo. It's something else. Look at that. Cram a shed load of experience. <laughs> Trials of the Sages. Oh goodness. Trials. Typical Trials, uh, that sounds appropriately named. Rashad is now traveling with you. So not a member of the party, but traveling with. Alright. Oh, so now I have a second person to take care of. That's great. Uh, so if I go to the cage, do I have her stuff? I do! Look at go go. Alright, so that means I also have a second person to equip and stuff. So she's got so she's musical instruments, alright. Um she does wear accessories. Alright. And this guy is all about spears, clothes, and scales. So time to go to the Cotter Master and talk to them and talk to this person too. Uh oh, need some enthusiasm. We have some green dots. What are these green dots? Hello. Pocket is glowing. Enthusiasm. Please give me some of the enthusiasm. More organizing. Alright. Just a smidge of enthusiasm. Excuse me, sir. We're going to give you some enthusiasm. That's what I just tried to do. Enthusiasm. Take the enthusiasm. Extra, hey, blindness be gone and hundred gold coins. And two stamps on our sandwich card. Woot! So I think the moon and star symbols where the sandwich card can be redeemed. Oh hello. What do you have to spare? Courage. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that courage. 
start storing several hearts if we can. Working our way through hour two of tonight's stream. So far we beat a boss. We've got some other things stored in a bottle. We did pretty good today. Uh, so these green dots on the map clearly are hearts that we need to pilfer. So we should go do that. Hello, what do you have? Thirty grandchildren. That's a lot. Kindness, yes. Uh, we will we will take a little bit of kindness. So now we have a dose of kindness, a dose of enthusiasm. I bet we have quest people to give these to you. Oh, that's the basket. Okay, so that's... Oh, this person's got something going on there. What do you have going on, lady? Sure, we'll, we'll do that. Lord Almighty. Alright, and we have another quest giver up here. Hey kid, what's up? Oh, need some kindness. All different ways, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes. An overdue loan, alright. Get apart. Kindness. The warm fuzzy gift of generosity. We're going to give him the warm fuzzies. A strong coffee. Oh. Yes. He loves the coffee in this game. And there's a couple more dots. And then we have to go to the call to master. Hello, you are the person in need of it. Tika Mahala. Uh, Yes, we will undertake that King of Curries. Fluffy rice, tender beef, but just chic special spices. All right. So we talked to those people, talked to those people. That person in the corner, I don't think we've talked to, so. All right. Oh, there's some loot though. We're, we're, we're not wanting to pass up loot. All right, some gilders. Okay, yeah, we'll take some coins. We will not turn down coinage. You know where we haven't gone either is like up here. The Khalifa is currently indisposed. She's not accepting visitors. All right, that has to be the first cow person in this town because I am, I am very disappointed in the lack of cows. All right, well, old smoky, huh? Volcano activity, possibly, or a dragon. 
Yes, the Califa. Alright, um... Hey, here's another... A sandwich. Alright, it's not coffee, but we'll take it. Alright, what is she selling? 200 gold for ice coffee is just expensive! Curse be gone, poison be gone, blindness be gone, all things be gone. Alright, so we need tender beef, we need fluffy rice. Alright, um, I don't remember what else we needed. I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, she's an owl person. I didn't pick up on it the last time. But she's an owl person. Her name is Hootenanny. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so great. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Okay. That's that's beyond amazing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I, the puns in this are just so amazing. They're just, like, tactfully done. Alright. Oh, here's somebody. Looks like he's got no enthusiasm. Oh. to find enthusiasm for him and there's no enthusiasm to be found so we have to go somewhere else to find enthusiasm all right is there anything else on the job board Kratz all right so Actually, one second here, we can stamp cards too. Use stamp card. So now we can actually trade a stamp card in for something. Claim bounties. Oh, bounty hunts. So we can claim one of these because we have one stamp card. Now the jump by pressing space while running another useful but a whole lot of fun. Run a little faster. Occasionally makes your forging eye for alright. So I think jumping is kind of important. Alright. Awesome. We can now jump. I will, I will jump, and it will be useful at some points. All right, here's the car to master. And looks like there's nothing special in his his business here except for. All right, don't mean to crow, but our wares the finest. So, a spear. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's mean looking. Alright, so we're going to buy a spear. Because we need one for our... Yes. Uh, dude, what's that? Okay. Oh, that's just all sorts of upgrading. Alright, 
but let's see what we can have right here. Nothing there. Ooh. That's like uh hostile defense. Alright. Just looking at our finances. Oh. Okay, so that's a scale, that's a badge. Business spirit strengthening the muscles. Alright, prevents knockouts when HP are high? What? That's not good. Why do this? This tells me that in this game we're going to be facing like one hit KOs. That's not that. that. Well, now. Okay. Alright. Uh. Boy, these are expensive, too. I think we go back here and make sure we get the proper equipment this way. So we really do need... Alright. I think these are the better option, because this is plus four, but this is plus three plus four. Alright, so we want to buy two of these. Yes. Put that on. Put that on too. Alright, we want to buy you a snake skin cloak. Yes, we're going to put it on them all. Uh, leather shield, yes. Yes, put it on mighty. Alright, that leaves us with 902 gold. Alright, so what's mighty at? Mighty, you would get plus two on everything, plus some accuracy. Um, whoa, but, shopping spree with Orphan Bunny, <laughs> oh, very, very, uh, very mostly accurate, yes, alright, so no one else, our characters can't equip any of those, our main characters can't equip those, so we need to back out and sell what we can sell, what can we sell here? Equipped, so the kitchen knife we can sell. Alright, so what about this? We can sell that. We can sell both of those. Keep all this. So we can we can buy one patch. I feel like the braggart's badge or the sturdy skill. Let's do that. Let's buy the sturdy skill. Yes, we're gonna let our little penguin get it. All right. With these prices, we'd be raving mad. Ah, uh, the puns. The bird cheeked puns of awesomeness. Alright, so let's see what else we got. Um, we have one more place we can go visit. And we still can't use that thing. But at least we can do this, alright? Uh, do this, space, save. No, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Uh, yes. We're gonna have two of the same save files because we have to delete one over. That way we just don't have to worry about it, I guess. Alright, here's an in. We pride ourselves on practically impressing. Alright, 20 gold to stay the night. Oh, we're already full up though, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so now we can go toward the Temple of Trials, as they call it. And we can jump. How about that?
Alright, so where is this temple at? This temple is... Off to that way? Oh, it's all the far away too. Oh, and that's even... Look at that. That is a quest dot being marked on our mini-map. Oh my gosh. How dare they. Oh. Time to go toward the quest dot on the mini-map. Oh. Combat time to explain how to use more than one person at a time. Oh, a green buncher. Okay. All right. All right. Who leads the battle? Mercury. All right. So Esther. Okay. And we're gonna put Go Go out, I guess. She's the leader now, okay. Tactics, okay. So they're like on auto targeting. Okay, neat. So I can go out to him and Thunder Spark. Well, now we can electrify things. Oh, oh, go, go. You are slow, slow. Um, healing tier. All of it. Good. Attack. Uh, Thunder Spark. All right. Two. Back to her. Songs. Ah, uh, neat. We sort of need it. And before the healing. Oh, whoa! That is so much health. That is so much health. I'll do my best. Spells? Pulse. Okay, so pulse is not the, uh... Oh, nice. Expensive though, so we'll set on fire. We did oh, so now the healing orbs matter a lot more. Because if I get one, it's going to be whatever character I'm. Oh my gosh, okay. That's a little. That's a little rude, but. Oh! Friends and Familiars, okay. Alright. Friends and Familiars. take this dude, right? So I hit R and bring him down there. R and bring him over there. Favorite Genesis. Okay. 
So, all right, so might works for this, but not one of my favorites with with Ollie. Okay. Uh, she likes Drongo, not surprising, but she doesn't like Thumblemer. Okay, well that's that's you know you can't you can't help it. But now they both have a an aggro and a healer. So if we need to do healing, we can double up on the healing. So that's kind of important, right? All right, I don't know what this thing is, but it's chasing after us. Turbandit A and Turbandit. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, so. So we basically at this point can do what we like to do in games like this. Since we have two people now, we can have might, Mighty like go out and be the distraction, and we can be here with uh, Esther being the healer. So for games like this, though, I've heard an extra D in that name and thought we'd give up on family friendly. Um, I'm not sure which name, but we'll we'll be okay with that. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Mushrooms, okay, and we're still heading toward the quest people. Oh, that's one of those sun things. Oh my gosh. Let's just thread the needle, hopefully. Alright. Um, what is... What is... Oh, it's... It's the, uh... It's the bonehead we gotta kill. Alright. Well, now. You there. Hey, Chadley! How's it going, man? Tour Club, if you don't know who Chadley is, he is a family-friendly streamer. We'd like to watch his content. He's got a new thing going on right now where he's been playing some random games. He was playing, I think it was Cat Quest 2 recently. That game looked really fun, man. It, it was... It re vaguely reminds me of this game a little bit with how the Overworlds take on the Adamant Tiger. Okay. Why does it just give me the... Is this like a boss fight? Oh, this is not good. They're giving me... They're giving me two on one versus this thing. Um... Alright, Esther. You give it your all. Mighty, you might not be in a good spot here. Um... Uh, Trippy tune on Mighty. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 oh. she can jump too. Alright, good. Alright, uh, alright. Mighty. This might be your final fight, Mighty. I don't know. Uh, Oliver with Healing Touch, me with the Healing Ability too. Oh, Esther, run away, run away, run away. Provisions. Uh, 30, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give this cup to me so I can heal afterwards. Songs, Tripitune. Our job is just to basically be the healer at this point and let the AI do what they gotta do. Belly Buster, I don't know. What oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um. Song, Strip Tune. Please heal it faster than it dies, because my goodness. Oh, alright, alright, you gotta just run, you just gotta run. Songs? Trippy tune. Oh. 
We're able to just keep dodging and doing what we gotta do. Blinded, that's not good. Alright, um... We should be able to triple tune it back, alright, good. Um, Surung, all we have is this tune. Oh my gosh. So what we probably need to do is this, and we need to go back to Oliver, and we need to start being a little, oh, but we can't, okay. Right, so we're totally out of mana. The mall is doing his best. Oh, nope, 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 not what we were expecting. Okay, so we do this. We go for. Whoa! Um. Provisions. Sandwich. We absolutely eat the sandwich. Alright, alright, alright. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Alright, uh, so it's a dark type. I don't know what we really need to do against this thing, other than just hold out for some mana. Actually, we can provision ourselves some coffee, and then provision ourselves some bread. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, oh. Well, that's unfortunate. We were defeated. So we definitely need to like gear up and we need to like skill up. Oh, continue 10% of your money. It's not too bad. Yep. Rest and pepperonis. Oh, but the, the worst of it is we have to restart back from where we were. At least we don't have to go through all the tutorial noise again. And we know better than to try to go for that blue dot this time. The blue dot is a trap. It's a trap. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so if we can take the wide berth there. Oh, that's not a good looking animal. That looks like a dragon. What's up with the dragon in the sky? That's rude. We're just trying here to do our like hero's journey thing and we're gonna throw dragons over at us. My fairy suit ain't even t <laughs> Oh. So we got some some plot stuff going on here, or is it just basically thinking that we went through really horrible fights? We got plot points, all right. Hashtag plot. Oliver, hmm? what is it, Esther? Why did you set out on this journey in the first place? Most people wouldn't dream of taking on someone like Shadar. Well, uh, it's my mom. I have to save her. Your mother? Uh, yeah. She... she died saving my life. But Mr. Drippy says there's a way to help her here in this world. So, you've come here to save your mother? Yeah, I guess. Wow. Huh? Doing all this? For the sake of someone you love. Mm. I just think that's amazing. I wish I had as good a reason as you for making this journey. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Her reason seems I didn't mean to be I just that basically boredom. It's okay. but I haven't been out of the town for over, so let me just go ahead Shadar and tell is along. incredibly powerful. He breaks the hearts of anyone who defies him. So no one dares to resist. And they say no one can defeat him. I know that. But 
I have to. You have to try, right? I... yeah. It's so strange. You don't look powerful in the least. But somehow, I just know you can beat him. I wonder why. Thanks. That's anyway, called plot armor. Enough of that. It's late. I'm covered okay. in it. we'll take a look at those. It'll probably be off stream though, just for our own curiosity's sake, because just reading from text is not something that really goes over well in this kind of medium. Head for the trials door. I sure hope that there's a safe pot in the trials door. All who bear the name Sage must pass the trials. Ha. Huh. Well, time to release the seal. If you find this door past its freshness state, please return it to its owner. It must be opened by your own hand. Alright. Cool. Does that mean I can do this first? I can't save here. This is not good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me let me go outside this door for a second, because if I save. Here we go. Sage advice. And then save up this one too. Alright. If we wipe, we want to make sure that we appear back at the door. Instead of to go through the desert all over again. Well, it's just an old dude. There ain't too much things to be afraid of here, it looks like. Hey, there's an actual save stone. That's good to see. Okay, this looks like some sort of goblinoid, uh, or some sort of... Uh... So, this is the Supreme Sage, is it? Ahem. <clears throat> Your Honor, we have come to perform the trials. Not... me. Huh? <laughs> Idiots! Oh. I'm the Supreme Sage! Oh! oh. That's just my stupid servant on both part. Look, Digret, it's Grogu. <laughs> Green jelly bean. I don't care, I am sweet and clever and handsome. I'm just so modest, I don't like it when people talk about it. Well, now. <laughs> Master Solomon! Alright, what a name to throw around. of a everyone rated 10 and up game. Take a look around the area here. Get a, a better shot of... Can we get a shot of... There we go. Jelly Bean and Drippy. What? You? Beat Shadar? I 
I know because I made them really modest. Rashad didn't do anything except for like stop and tell us to sleep one night. Go and ask stupid old Umbapa? Okay. It's a little rude. Are you Umbapa? Test of wits, friendship, test of strength. Okay. Trial monitors, so this is kind of very standard trophy setup. Alright, we got about 20 minutes. We might be able to knock out one what? Well now. This looks like magic the puzzling. Okay. Whoa. What just happened? Okay. Oh, well now. Uh... Alright. Oh, this is so trippy, I have to control both of them at once. Alright. Oh no! Esther! I'm sorry! What's, what's, what, what's up? What's up? Oh. Oh. This is not good. Okay. Alright. Alright, Esther, find your, find your switch, please. like not really built for doing exactly two things at once as best as I can tell though it seems like this is a combination of time and squares on the screen at once based ah that was that was not me basically trying to make it. that was me doing the thing right. Alright. Alright. And you up here, you this way, you 
this way. Esther. Ollie. Esther. Made my head hurt, all sorts of hurts. Oh, all of the hurts. The proof of friendship. And hopefully, never have to do that ever again. Oh. Let's save. Yes, yes, yes. Tour Club, we are coming across the last eh, probably 15 minutes. Test of wits. Well, interesting. So I guess we stand on this. So these shut. Dragon sees the warrior's sword while the bird is shown his shield. Meanwhile, the beast looks to his right and sees an empty field. Okay. Um, if I could. Alright, so. Sees the warriors, so Meanwhile wall looks to his right, so the beast is on the far left. And then the dragon so it goes beast, dragon, might, bird. Maybe I have to cast it here. Oh, I bet you that's what's going on. an easy enough logic puzzle. The, the hardest part was trying to figure out how the developer expected me to do all this. Okay. So clearly a similar thing going on here. But... 
that. So it looks like the final trial, because this is probably going to have another one or two of these puzzles, so the final trial will have to be taken on next week. So a boss in most of the trials here. Not bad. Okay. The bird is bound to dragon and moon. And on a Star he sits. So the bird's on a star. The warrior links moon and star, yet knows not where he fits. Dragon and moon. Alright. Links moon and star. Star. Bound to dragon and moon, and on a star he sits. So the bird has to be on a star, and the star has to connect to a moon and the dragon. All right. The beast links the warrior and the moon. So warrior. So, star, moon, dragon, beast is warrior and moon, so, is we don't have a whole lot of information here. So... Bird is bound to dragon and moon. On a star he sits. The beast links the warrior and the moon. 
and Warrior Moon and Star. Okay. All right, Warrior Moon and Star. Okay. So. So, Warrior, Moon, and Star. That sh should No, because that stops the bird. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, wow, okay. So, to do three, right, you absolutely must... Must be your brain hurts. <laughs> oh, mine does a little bit too. Um, so, beast, warrior, moon, star. But the thing is, the bird no longer sits on its star with dragon and moon. But I th think if we do this one last time, I think I got it. Because I think the bird just goes up here. No, because then it's not linked to the dragon. So the bird has to be on a star, and the star has to connect the moon. Alright, so that's, that's a star, but it doesn't connect to a moon, right? Alright, so it doesn't connect to a moon. Um, this has to be... Alright, so what's the dragon on? The dragon is not on a star, the dragon's on the sun. So the bird has to be on a star. And it has to be on a star that links to a moon and the dragon. So there's only two stars that link to a moon. Oh no, 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 yeah, there's only two stars that link to him there. Maybe... Maybe it's this? And then the beast has to be linked to a moon and star, but does not know where it sits. Maybe it's these two. Like this. now I can do it two more times all right so bound to dragon and moon and on a star it sits the beast links warrior moon and star Is not where he fits. So bird bound to dragon and moon, and on star it sits, which means it has to be sitting on a star. And I would say that the dragon has to be on the moon. So warrior, moon, and star. seems to indicate that it cannot have anything on top of what else it has to have. So... 
So this has to be here. It has to be there. There's no other way that you could be on a star and connect a moon and connect a dragon. Alright. Moon, star, and beast. Alright. Well, that worked. Okay. No more logic puzzles. No more logic puzzles. Awesome. We have the proof of wits. So we have wits and we have friendship. Okay, so now we go through this room and we'll be saving Turtle Club. Man, this is this is still just a very beautiful game. Love the voice acting. Um, <laughs> now we know you're good friends and not completely stupid. So we'll be calling it quits here. We'll be saving. Yes. Testing times. Testing times. Uh, actually, we can just delete from here. We'll just delete that save. Bam. All right. Wow, Turtle, this has been a lot. This has been a super lot. I just want to say thank you for everyone who's joined us tonight. My wonderful wife, dear Brad, as always. Chadley, an excellent family-friendly streamer, guys. Streams on Twitch as well as YouTube. Old Man Chadley on Twitch. Does some cross-stitching and some uh, lesser... Uh, I would say exactly lesser, but non-family-friendly content of his can be found there, whereas family-friendly content can be found on his YouTube channel. And, of course, Shadow, Supreme Lurker, thank you for hanging out and joining us. Always appreciate you being here, bud. Um, but Turtle Club, I'm going to have a uh, good... You know, good evening here. Hang out with Digger the rest of the night. You all have yourself a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Whatever you're about to do for the club, as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. <laughs>